Hello and welcome to my full review of the LG G3. The LG G3 has got quite a nice build, the back is plastic so it does feel quite tacky but on the back we do have the laser autofocus, the camera, the flash and we have unusually the volume rocker and the power button I'll quickly go to what else is on the back. It has the LG logo and also the speaker. The back is a quite a random place to put your power button, it's not the normal design uh, that you have on most other brands but this is because when you pick up your phone normally your hands will be towards the back of the device and this means that your fingers are perfectly placed to turn on your phone. It does take some getting used to but I'm sure most people will be fine after a couple of days of use. Also at the bottom we have the micro USB port and also the headphones on the top we have the IR blaster and down both the sides we have nothing it's just unusual to see the sort of design on a flagship device. Specs on the LG G3 are actually really good. It has a 5.5 inch true HD IPS display with a pixel density of 500 138, which means it's really crisp. It also comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and this means that any scratches or any little scuffs may be a lot more harder to get. The chipset on the LG G3 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 with the CPU as a quad core 2.5 gigahertz crap 400. Also the GPU is an Adreno 330. It has 3 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, NFC, infrared and Bluetooth already built in. The LG G3 G3's camera is actually really good. It's got a 13 megapixel sensor, dual tone flash and a laser focus. So in dark situations, the pictures come out quite nice and not that grainy. It has 2K at 30 frames per second, also 1080p at 30 frames per second on the video side, which is really good and the video is quite smooth. On the front, the front facing camera has the 2.1 megapixel sensor and has 1080p footage. And this means Hangout Skype will look really clear. The software on the LG G3 is actually really nice to use. It's not really heavily skinned like the Samsung TouchWiz interface. It's got quite a nice overlay on it. The apps have all been skinned for the icons but apart from that it's not that bad. It's been very quick and responsive. The only few differences I've seen is with the multitasking. It comes up with the multi-window rather than the tile sort of slider like it has in Chrome. So there is a couple of differences but for what I was using it it was really good, really responsive and I haven't really seen anything that I didn't like. It, it really is quite a aesthetically pleasing. A feature that I've really enjoyed using on the LG G3 is the multi-window feature. It is really good and it means that you can have two apps running next to each other. And with the power that you do get with the LG G3, it really, really does help to have a feature like this where you could have th something like YouTube and then you could have like web browser open. This has been introduced on the phablet sort of side of things, but more to tablets and then Windows, things like that. So it really does come in handy when trying to do multi multiple things on your screen and with the 5.5 inch display and the pixels that it can push it really does look crisp and clear when using this dual window display. The LG G3 is an all round good phone. I really enjoyed using it. The software experience is actually really good. Now it's on Android Lollipop and it does look quite nice to the eye and it's not too much of a heavy overlay like Samsung has done. The camera has got a really, really good sensor and the focus is absolutely amazing. So it does focus really quick when taking pictures. The screen is absolutely beautiful. It is really crisp and clear and I really, really enjoyed using it. Also, it was really responsive and the price isn't too bad either now since the LG G4 is coming out so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you would like to see the LG G4 initial thoughts not the rumours so hopefully I will be getting content on that as soon as it comes out so overall I do think it's a good device and I would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for a slightly cheaper high-end device or is looking for a second device to use for work. Thank you for watching this video guys, please hit that like and subscribe button for more content on the LG G3. I'll see you guys next time here at Top Tech Reviews.